Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at another one of these solar controllers which says it's MPPT and uh, I've taken the liberty to remove any of this identifying information. The rest of the bag has came in a slightly torn up fashion. So we're going to go ahead and do an unwrapping. gotten three of them from the smallest till the biggest that they had available so I believe this is 70 amps and this is probably 50 it's 50 amps while this should be Thirty amps. Okay, so let's start with the biggest one. And if you haven't noticed, the brand's called Perfect Sura. But will it live up to its name and be our perfect solar Sura? And right off the box, we got the manual. We'll have a look at this later and see if there's anything else that we need to check out. This looks like a pretty beefy heat sink. Now let's proceed to open it up. Um, first off, the terminals are a little slanted already but the good sign is that these are probably going to take pretty some pretty large gauge wires, or thick wires. Okay, you might want to be careful when you're doing this yourself because the cables are pretty short. So, okay, and the terminals have just <laughs> came down. And I'm afraid I don't see. The relevant coil inductors. Or the transformer which is part of an MPPT. So it's highly likely that this is actually PWM. Okay, this is pretty much just the screen. The buttons. An SMD, some controller and some small tiny capacitors, the two USB ports and this would be the temperature sensor. Let's have a further look at what's underneath. To see if there is 
call it a terra transform under this but I don't look by the looks of it I don't think so because those things come pretty big True enough, there are no coil inductors or transformers. These are all the MOSFETs with thermal padding. Thermal padding. So, if this is the biggest one and it's coming like this, I doubt we're gonna see coil inductors or transformers in the smaller versions. So, this ends here. Thank you for watching.